deserts are not just in Tulsa. Food deserts are across the country, and that is a disgrace to me. 23 and a half million people in the United States live in food deserts. Now, this is according to the USDA. They're typically people with low incomes living miles away from the nearest grocery store. Tonight, we're taking an in-depth look at the problem, and we talk to the ones who are working tirelessly to find a solution to become Oklahoma together. Of the 19% of Tulsans living in a food desert with food insecurity, there are children, there are elderly people, there are people like Donetta Thrower, there are also people like Katie Plohockey and Felicia Fro going above and beyond to put food on people's tables. But in rural Oklahoma, people like Susan Boyd see a more dire situation. And it's an issue that's not going away anytime soon. This is like the best thing ever. Donetta Thrower lives in West Tulsa and waits in line at the grocery store every Monday. I have a heart condition and I have to have fresh foods all the time. Supplying her with the produce she needs. Like I got bananas and kiwi and oranges and onions, potato. Her favorite thing at the store? He even like makes his own chicken salad. Who does that? It's great chicken salad too though. But this grocery store is on wheels because Donetta lives in a food desert in West Tulsa one of the many areas in the cities where grocery stores are far and few between. I used to have to go to like the farmer's market, like way out somewhere on a bus, but we don't have readily access to the bus either. The bus system, if you're taking the bus, typically it's a four hour round trip to go grocery shopping and you can only take what you can carry. That's why Katie Plohockey, executive director of the Healthy Community Food Store Initiative and RNG Family Grocers, revved up the engine for the mobile grocery store. Food deserts didn't just happen. Um, it's been decades of disinvestment in our communities. Um, back in the 50s and 60s, we started seeing suburban flight. Uh, the big box stores started coming in and in, in locating on the ex external parts of town. The wholesale distributors started buying each other up, and so they became giant conglomerates. Plo Hockey says mom and pop grocery stores can't afford to compete with that, so they've just shut down, and the results are staggering. Folks that live in food deserts, specifically North Tulsa, they live 12 years less than someone living in, in South Tulsa. And that's because there's little access to fresh and healthful foods. We so often think of health as medicine and going to the doctor, but our first line of health is our bodies. Our first line of defense to disease is our bodies. Dr. Felicia Fro is with Eco Alliance Group, the organization that's going to operate the new Oasis Fresh Market in North Tulsa, which broke ground last month. Russell sprouts, strawberries. If you do not have those things, you are much more likely to have chronic conditions caused by inflammation in your body caused by not having the proper nutrition. Hello. Yeah. I didn't never have access to a grocery store. I wasn't eating properly. My health was deteriorating and I need the things that's on this truck. Fro says the new North Tulsa store is going to be small, but it's going to have more than enough options for fresh food and another key component, education. We are planning to have dietitians in our grocery stores. We are planning to have all of our staff actually educated on nutrition helping to guide families in the right direction. If our children aren't getting healthy food in these communities, it's harder for them to learn. When you're hungry, it affects behavioral problems, it affects mood. Especially kids in rural areas with even less access to fresh, healthy foods in grocery stores. According to the USDA, 84% of the counties with the highest percentage of children at risk for food insecurity are rural. The only thing there is is the uh, dollar store. That's all we have. Susan Boyd is the executive director of the Afton Housing Authority in Afton, Oklahoma. They don't have a lot there. It's just really the dollar store and that's it. There are two convenience stores in Afton, but the amount of food inside hardly qualifies them as grocery stores. That's why Boyd keeps a stock in the small housing authority community building with the help of donations from churches and food banks. They know I always have food here, you know, because you may be at the end of the month and be short on things canned goods, non-perishable items, produce, and the biggest treasure of them all, chocolate milk. <laughs> oh, let me tell you, I have always had milk, but when I give them that the first day, I had kids that cried. But these kids are always used to getting the seconds. I mean, they never get the best thing. So how do we make sure these kids do get the best thing? 
Hopefully there'll be a lot of people help people. That's my greatest thing. People helping bridge the gap, like the small grocery store in North Tulsa, paid for using private equity funds, government funds that are available that haven't been used in that area, and cutting costs by using local growers. I'm very excited for them, um, but that's not the only solution. That store, again, is going to su support about a mile, mile and a half radius. Luckily, they are on the BRT, so they'll be able to get that bus transportation as well. But it still leaves folks that live in northwest Tulsa without groceries, northeast Tulsa without groceries, the west side without groceries, west Tulsa. There's portions of east Tulsa. So it's a start, but we need to continue doing a better job and, and putting more stores in. Uh-uh, I got it right here. So that people like Donetta yeah. Thrower. So there was no chicken salad? No. They're actually sold out. But you got some other good stuff too. I do. I got fish. I have coffee. I have chicken pot pies. Don't have to get their favorite chicken salad out of the truck. Love, love, love our little grocery store. For more information on resources that are available, go to our website, kjrh.com, so we can become Oklahoma together. Travis Guillory, two works for you.